Hello, welcome to the Cozy Corner. It's your host, Cozy, and today I'm here to do the Cancer 2020 reason for the Cancers. Um, hold up, let me drop this a little bit. All right, because I didn't want that on my face. Um, so I'm here to do y'all 2021 reading. I'm going to pull a card for every single month of next year. And the bottom card will end up being your overall theme of next year. I found this very insightful for myself. So I want to do it for all Zodiacs so that we can all have something that's insightful and to look back on throughout the whole year. Because I already told y'all in December what was going to happen. So if you didn't know, then you didn't know. But you'll have something to reference back to. And if, of course, if you want a reading like this yourself, hit me up in the DMs and I will get that to you. Boo. I, I do Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. All right. So one card I already wanted to come out for January and I was like, I'm going to put it back. But then I said, nah, I'm just going to start the video right now because obviously Cancer wants to talk. Cancer has something to say. So the first card is the Fool card, which is the Dreamer card. So in January, you're going to be going through a new start, trust yourself, put aside your fears and take a leap of faith. So what spirit is telling me is that you're going to go through something totally different that you were not expecting, but it's going to be very great and very beneficial to you. And here go lucky day. Here goes the lucky day. Ain't that funny? Y'all wouldn't know what that means, but I know what it means. Um, <clears throat> so in February, let's see what we're looking at. In February, they want you to trust your instincts, trust your intuition, meditate, and turn inward to discover your own tr soul's true desire. This is no time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you received. Whoa. All right. And then in March, what are we looking at in March? March, we are looking at the six of the six of swords, the ending of challenging times. Things are looking up, a welcome relief, finding your way to a peaceful place, the end of depression or an illness, travel or relocation. In April, we're looking at the Queen of Wands. There's nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance uh, between career and personal life. Okay. Okay. May. What are we looking at in May? Okay. That's a lot of cards. I felt they was, they, okay, so I felt this energy that they were very, like, they were in telling into what is going on. But I don't want two cards, I just want one. Okay. So in May, we're looking at release, which is 13, the death card. Um, it says, endings that lead to new beginnings. The end of, res the end to, the end. The need to release situations or people that hold you back. Spiritual transformation. In June, you have the magician. Uh, you, what you need to be successful will manifest. If you believe it, you can do it. Magic is alive in your life. You have a lot of major arcana happening. So then in July, we have the Six of Cups, which is childhood or children, revisiting old dreams or plans, embracing your inner child, the return of people or romances from your past, romanticizing how things used to be. In August, you have Wise Counsel, which is un uniting with a spiritual-minded community ask the divine for help and answers will come compare traditional methods with new idea with new ideas to see which best which best is for you Have to slow down a little bit because that was a lot. Okay. Um, 
So September, we have the Four of Swords, which is insight that comes from meditation. The need to take a rest or vacation, allowing your time self, allowing yourself some time before making a decision. And it says get some sleep. It could and you could be going through mental exhaustion or you could be going through restless nights. Um so in October we have the Queen of Pentacles, the ability to make anything more beautiful, a love for family and home, be practical about how you proceed, a love of a love of art and beauty, a sensible approach. So yeah, you're going to have to come to a decision definitely because it's telling you to come you're going to have to take time to come to a decision and um in September and then you're going to make a decision and it's going to be a sensible approach in October. In November you have the emperor. Logic and organization will increase your success. Take charge of a situation, accept a leadership role, role structure and discipline. Structure and discipline. Could also be meeting the Aries. And then in December, the lovers embrace true love. Embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart, vibrate health, vibrant health, or recovery from an illness. Overall energy of the year. It's 10 of wands, so working too hard or too many hours. The need for balance in life. Let others help you. Oh, cancer. We have a problem with letting others help us with things. We have a problem with receiving love at times. And this year is going to be about receiving the love that is around you from all these sources. Because it's going to be a lot of sources that are going to push for love. This, this 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 unconditional love that, are, that is going to be around you. They're telling you not to um, be like, oh, I got it myself or things like that. Like trying to be, you know, because people depend on us. We don't depend on people. We're a cardinal sign. So it's telling you basically what I'm getting is that you don't have to take on the burden like it's others around to help you this year because... My year, I will say, my year was a, surrounded by miracles. Like, it's a miracle this happened. It's a miracle this happened. It's a miracle this happened. And it really was. Literally, I had miracles throughout every single month this year. So, definitely take, in, take that into account that um, this year, you do not have to take on the burden yourself. You have support around you. So... What the fuck did I just say? Boom, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles, financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life, honoring fam family traditions, pride in the family tree, passing on knowledge. Here's another ten, Ten of Cups. A happy marriage, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your kids, raising children wisely, people you can trust, people you can trust, people you can trust. Boom. Overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out. So, yeah. This is y'all whole spread. So, again, in January, you have the full. Can y'all? Y'all can't see that. In the January, you have the full, which is the dreamer. In February, you have the high priestess. In March, you have the six of swords. In April, you have the Queen of Queen of Wands, and in May you have the Death card, which is the release card, so you'll be releasing something. And June, you have the Magician, which means you will be manifesting something. And July, you have the Six of Cups, which I think you're gonna be thinking of the past or either thinking of children. Oh, or getting a puppy. I didn't see the doggy. And then in August, you have Wise Council, which is the, the hair front, which is all about traditions or like-minded people. I feel like you're going to be around like-minded individuals. 
and you'll be able to put old old things with new things and come up with new things and it'll be just 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 great and also it might be a decision you have to come to yeah like this might start the decision making like because in um because this is august so in august like something's going to come around where you're going to have to you're going to ask for answers or you're going to ask for help from the divine or ask someone for help and then something's going to happen where you're going to have to figure out an answer yourself because in september you have the four of swords where you're having to allow yourself time before making a decision and then in october you have a sensible approach you have the queen of pentacles in november you have the the i said the hair front the hair front is already out and in November, you have the, the emperor, which is all about taking charge of a situation. And then you have December, the lovers, which is about embracing true love and deep, intimate friendships, making the choices from the heart. So I went over it twice. Um, this is a reference. Of course, I'm going out. I went over it twice so y'all can know each card that is in here. Because I know that some people like to just pop in. Boop, boop, boop. What is this? Because when that month comes, it, you probably won't look at this. And if you do, um, it probably won't hit you. But at the same time, I know that people like going on Google and being like, what does the hero front mean for love? Because it can be anything in that month. Like, I'm not tying this to love. I'm just tying this to the next year. So, like, anything can be happening where the six of swords come in. It could be love. It could be career. It could be home. It can be family. But, yeah. That's for the cancers. I love y'all cancers. Like, share, comment, subscribe, catch me on live, and I will see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.